Tashi. It is such a pleasure to be out here speaking with you guys today. A little bit about myself. I am a nationally qualified bikini competitor working towards Miami later this year. Um, I am a personal trainer, corrective exercise, Pilates instructor, and I also teach yoga. So that's what brought us out here today, um, taking you guys through just a little sequence that um, can open out your hips. Maybe if you do a lot of sitting or lifting or you're an athlete, this will really just kind of help reset all angles of your hip. Um, I introduced some poses that you can go a little more advanced with or you can scale back if you need to. Um, so I'm excited to be here and let's flow on the mat. This move is called child's pose. Bring your big toes to touch, knees nice and wide. Settle your hips back to your heels and walk your hands out to the front edge of your mat. Begin to connect to your breath. Inhale and exhale, settle in. On your next inhale, walk both hands to the right side of your mat. Draw your left shoulder and hip crease down three rounds of breath. On your final exhale, travel both hands to the left side of your mat, draw your right shoulder and hip crease down. Three rounds of breath. After your final exhale, come through neutral, settle in one last time. So from child's pose, we begin to transition into box pose, shoulders directly on top of the wrist, hips directly on top of the ankles. On an inhale, drop your belly, gaze goes up, tailbone lifts. Exhale, press the floor away, round the spine, tuck the tail, gaze to your belly button. Begin moving at your own inhale and exhale. Inhale, gaze goes up, separation of your sit bones at the back. Exhale, draw your navel in, round the spine. One more big inhale through the nose. Exhale, round the spine. Settle in through neutral. We'll move into T-spine rotations. Right hand comes behind the head. Inhale as you tap your right elbow to elbow. Exhale as you twist and open. Keep your hips nice and square. Gaze to the elbow the entire time. Inhale to tap the elbows together. Exhale, twist through the thoracic spine. One more inhale through the nose. Exhale, twist and open. This time unraveling the right arm. We'll take a shoulder stretch in puppy pose. So your hips will stay on top of your heels. Thread your right shoulder through the left. Gaze can then go to the floor or cheek to the floor. From here, you can reach your left arm out overhead. So draw your left shoulder down as you're in this posture to square them off. If you would like to add on, maybe you take your left arm and half wrap it behind your back. If you're comfortable, just stay where you are and breathe. Option to take the left leg out to the side. Think about opening your rib cage. One more big inhale through the nose. Exhale as you begin to unravel. 
moving mindfully through those moments. Take your left right arm back up to the sky. Drop it to the earth. Moving to the other side, we take the left hand behind the head. On the inhale, tap your elbows together. On your exhale, you twist through the ribcage. Inhale, tap the elbows together, stabilizing the hips. Exhale, twist and open. Last time, inhale, tap the elbows together. Exhale, twist and open. This time, take your left arm to the sky. Spread your left arm under the right shoulder. Chin or cheek to the floor. Right arm walks overhead. Draw the right shoulder down. So maybe you stay there. Maybe you take a half wrap with the right arm. Maybe you even kick stand the right leg. These are all options to add on. Begin to unravel. Taking the left arm back up to the sky. Drop it to the ground. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips. Downward facing dog. And let your head hang heavy. You're trying to lift your hips up nice and high as you take your chest towards the top of your legs. On your next inhale, take the right leg to the sky. Option to bend the knee and open the hip. Maybe even take some circles. Otherwise, just enjoy this stretch. Draw the right knee outside the right pinky finger, lizard lunge. Begin to bend and straighten that front leg. You're squaring off your hip bones. Think about drawing your right hip crease back and your left hip crease forward while finding length through your spine. Drop the back knee. Allow the right hip to open up. Maybe you even come down to the forearms. Maybe you begin to work into your crooked monkey, bend the back knee, catch the toe, spiral the rib cage open. Gently release, low side lunge to the back of the mat. Walk your hands. Find length through your spine here. Try not to round down. Maybe you lift a little higher. And then you take the hands to the back of the mat, left toe to the earth. Move through a high to low plank, and then an upward facing dog. So on your upward facing dog, it's just the hands and the tops of the feet that meet the earth. Try not to crane your neck, keep your chin tucked. Curl the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. We'll move through that same sequence on the other side. Inhale, lift the left leg. Lizard lunge. Plant the left toes outside the left pinky finger. So maybe you bend and straighten that front leg. Drawing your right hip crease forward this time. Left hip crease back. Think about drawing your shoulders down and away from the ears and opening your sternum. Option to move into opening that left hip to the side, dropping the back foot. Maybe you even come down to the forearms. Work into crooked monkey, bend the back knee, catch the toe, roll the rib cage open. Gently release. 
we walk it low, side lunge to the back of the mat, top of the mat, excuse me. And then you move through your vinyasa on the other side. High to low plank, and then upward facing, downward facing dog. So to set up our pigeon pose, take the right leg to the sky. You can bend the knee and open the hip. Take your circles here if you would like. Otherwise, take the right shin, the fullest expression of this posture. Your shin would be 90 degrees. But if you need a little less, take a deeper bend in the knee. Look to your back toe, make sure your ankle isn't sickled in or out it's pointing straight back a little up dog through the chest so find some opening through the sternum exhale forward fold so maybe you stay there and breathe or maybe you begin to add on lift the chest bend the back toe we start to work into king pigeon so I like to bend my knee a couple times. Then rotating through the shoulder. We take the elbow straight up to the sky. Gently release. Hold in to your pigeon pose one last time. Move through your downward facing dog. Take the right leg back up to the sky. Toes come to the earth and we set up the left side. Inhale the left leg high. Maybe you bend the knee and open the hip and take some circles. Maybe you just stay in the stretch. Pigeon pose, drop the left shin to the mat. Again, fullest expression, parallel, but take a bigger bend in the knee. If you need a little less, it's more important to have the hips nice and square here. So find your little up dog through the chest, and if you're ready to settle in, exhale, fold. chose to add on the first time begin to work your way up bend the back foot catch the knee and then we begin to rotate the elbow up to the sky gently release and fold one final time Make your way back through your three-legged dog. Send your left leg to the sky. Maybe you take your counter stretches one last time or your toes come to the earth. Move through box pose. Take a few rounds of your cat-cow one final time. Close off our practice, settling into child's pose. Big toes to touch, knees nice and wide. On your next inhale, come up to a comfortable, easy seated position. Maybe your hands resting comfortably on top of your knees, or maybe your hands come to your heart center. I want to thank each and every one of you for taking your time to flow on the mat with me today. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, hit the comments below.